Should I say something? You can. Oh, Ladies I got and gentlemen, it. here we are at the Superstition Mountain Range, here in the high Superstition Mountain area. And you will notice many different formations of rocks and strati that have been basically formed through the sands of time. No pun intended. Yes, yeah, sands, time. All done by two basic elements, water and air. Two of the softest things Create. All these in rocks. fire. Really. Fire would be the third, but probably the least important in our discussion of the day. Except fire created it. A need to know basis. Eruption. Very important in the initial creation we have here. It took us approximately three days to get here. And uh, it's a very treacherous climb, as you can see. Uh, we lost a few people on the way. It's very sad. Uh, we'll notify their next of kin. And we're hoping to make it back sometime before next year. What's the date? January 27th, 1898. 1898. And uh, I claim this land for the king of Slobovia. Of truth. <laughs> which is the same thing, actually. So we are attempting now to scale this steep cliff right here, which is really nothing for experienced mountain men like ourselves. Free climbing, no ropes. And uh, it's no big deal, really. I mean, uh, some people would look at that and go, you know, there's no way you could do that, but I'll tell you what. No way you could do that. Some people would think that. Um, some people. Actually, it's a three-point balance system that we worked out <laughs> with the help of Jimmy Vickers, our main... Yeah, our three-pointer and uh, three point. that's all it takes just three points of contact and the cojones they're very important in this sort of thing there's your fourth contact there's your fourth Sometimes. point of contact and it's very important actually fourth and fifth point if you want to get technical but uh, it's a relatively you know stable surface that we're on here there was an earthquake uh, quite a while ago uh, when was that earthquake yesterday I think it was about yeah 13, 14 hours ago. <laughs> so we're pretty safe. I'm feeling pretty safe right now. Most of the ash is settled and uh, the smoke as well has settled as well. It's still a little so, bit warm beneath our feet. Uh, a tiny bit, yes. <laughs> but our soles are made of uh, neoprene rubber, which is very much impervious to any type of radical temperature changes. Uh, what else can I tell you? We've also got uh, backpacks full of gold nuggets, which we found. I'm not going to, can't tell you the location, unfortunately, because we're going to try to get away with uh, not claiming it on our income tax. So uh, let the government catch us, you know, catch me if you can kind of thing. And I would advise, you know, anybody who, out here who uh, finds any gold to get in touch with us first, because we'll help you uh, take care of that issue. Yeah, we'll take it home for you. Right. We'll store it for you and we will procure it, actually. And uh, it will be a wonderful thing, really. We'll only take the customary 98% handling charge. Um, what else can I tell you? The growth here is, you know, your obvious uh, growth. It is in typical uh, Sonoran Desert type atmosphere as we're in. Uh, you have your uh, Acatillo right underneath us, which is actually looks dead, but it's really getting ready to bloom. I mean, in about a, maybe a month or so, that thing's going to look like unbelievable. We must get our video update when we're back here in a month. Yeah, it will be. After this uh, rock cools down. You know, it's uh, amazing how uh, fast they grow. Uh, it's hot. You're looking at approximately 12 hours of growth. Uh, seeds germinate rather quickly in the warm rock. Uh, it's amazing, but like two weeks ago, this whole area we're looking at here was completely flat. Uh, so things happen in the earth rather radically. It doesn't take the millions of years that a lot of geologists and people believe. It actually only takes several hours for something like this to appear out of nowhere. Now that we have a 12 hour day, light is. Correct. It's, it's the days time are, is sped up. The days are getting longer, which does help the rock cool, and uh, and uh, the radical formations appear relatively quickly. Uh, we also have an um, uh, Indian tribe that still lives down here that we visited with a little while ago, the Kahuchi tribe. Uh -huh. Not many people have ever heard of them. Uh, I don't think anybody's ever heard of them. Uh, we visited with them, and we uh, had a lovely dinner of, uh, I think it was roast uh, prairie dog. It was delicious. You wouldn't think. You know, a lot of people think that Indians eat dogs. They really don't. They eat prairie dogs. Different animals. One's a rodent and one's a carnivore, I believe. I think they had some and, rat dip. Yeah, rat dip. A excellent. You know, I mean, you know, it's a secret recipe. You know, they told us they would tell us the recipe 
But then they said they'd have to kill us. So we just said, okay, maybe some things are best left unknown. You know what I mean? Or we'd have still been down there. Uh, they're basically run around naked down there, you know, which uh, we can't show you the film, obviously, because this, you never know where this film's going to wind up. But, uh... Well, it'll end up on YouTube. Oh, it will? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, then it would never end up... In the future. Like, there you go. I mean, you know, they wouldn't let... This can be this show called YouTube. A bunch of naked Indians on YouTube. Nobody wants to see that. I mean, you know, they're not a very attractive tribe, you'd say. Uh, you know, living down here. And uh, they've been here, actually, when this is all flatland, several weeks ago. And uh, they've learned, they've adapted themselves completely within the past 12, 13 hours to living in this rather rugged terrain. They still haven't figured out, number one, how to basically survive beyond the next several hours, or how to weave any of these desert plants into uh, suitable clothing. But once they figure all that out, then uh, I think they have a good chance of making it, really. Our friends, the several other people that were with us, uh, they have zero chance of making it because uh, they didn't understand the three-point contact method. Revised to five points, as we mentioned earlier. And now um, they are uh, dinner? Yeah, they're pretty much vulture bait at this time. Uh, it, it's very sad. Uh, you know, fortunately, we weren't that close to them, and we didn't really know who they were. But they did pay us the hiking fee up front, which we always demand if you want to go on a hike with us. So... Uh, Got to make sure you get that before we take anybody with us because uh, that's important. And I hope the check clears, really, because uh, usually we just take cash or solid gold nuggets, which you uh, also would find in various transactions that we perform. Uh, our next uh, event that we are going to uh, do is we're going to traverse the entire Sahara Desert. You might want to tune back into this YouTube channel for that. That probably won't be quite as... Um, interesting terrain is what we have here but then again all you have to do is wait 12 hours and something like this could happen so um that's basically all i have to say well thank you thank you for we'll watching this and uh any questions please go to our website which is arizona hiking maniacs in full regalia.com and uh please be prepared to leave a sizable donation and uh, join for our hiking club, which we're starting up. Uh, it's only basically $999.95 and uh, for a relatively two-hour hike. But you're going to learn more about these, uh, this particular area than anybody could ever, ever tell you otherwise. Things that nobody really knows. Things that I don't even know. But I'll figure it out as we go along. <laughs> and so uh, there's no real problem there. Um, and until uh, the next video, we will say adieu to adieu. our French friends, sayonara, all our Japanese friends, adios to all our multi-international friends, or goodbye to all our English-speaking friends, which I'm having trouble speaking English right now. And uh, any more languages that I need to cover, Jimmy? Namaste. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Our have a nice day. Namaste. Cameraman. And uh, have a nice day.